There are in general two types of multiplication that matrices can do. The first kind is very easy, it's just multiplying by a constant or a number. So if you have a matrix and you have a constant, you just basically multiply the constant um, by each member or number in the matrix. Things get a little tricky when you try to multiply one matrix by another. So keep in mind that unlike your regular multiplication, multiplication in matrices are not commutative. Uh, as in A multiplied by B is very different from B multiplied by A. And to show you that, I'm going to show you how to multiply in um, matrices. Um, and here we go. So here's what we're going to do. So for A multiplied by B, we're going to start with the first row of A and the first row of B. So then we, do, we take the dot product of those two groups of numbers, as in I'm going to multiply the first number together, so A multiplied by G, and then I add to it the product of B and J. And then once I'm done, I'm going to move on to the second column of B. So I'm going to keep going. I say A, H plus B, K. Kind of, if you kind of work your way horizontally through, that's basically you're maintaining in the first row. So A, B remains the same, but then you're changing, changing columns. And then I do A times I plus B times L. And then, okay, so my first row is done, I'm going to move on to the second. So now I'm going to start with C and D. So C multiplied by G again, add D by J, etc. And so you can see that A is a 3 by 2 matrix and B is a 2 by 3. But once you multiply A by B, that gives you a 3 by 3 matrix. So the dimension changes. All right, and then now I'm going to show you how to do B multiplied by A. So again, because B goes first, we're going to start with the horizontal row of B and then the first column of A. So similarly, we're going to start by the dot products. So that's the first one, and now we're done with the first row, so we move on to the second. Now we're done with this row, so we move on to the second. So you can see that once we're done, um, B multiplied by A gives you a 2 by 2 matrix. So those even aren't of the same dimensions, and this is how you can show that they are not commutative. Um, but basically, when you multiply B by A, that's a 3 by 2, I'm sorry, 2 by 3, multiplied by A by 2. And uh, the resultant matrix is going to be of the dimension that are of the outermost. So you can also see here, so it's a 3 by 2 multiplied by a 2 by 3. So when, so when you multiply A by B, then the resultant is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. One really important thing to know about matrix multiplication is that sometimes it cannot even happen. So the dimensions of the two matrices are very important. In the case here, for example, A multiplied by B that is a valid action, and you can get something out of it because the number of columns in A is the same as the number of rows in B. However, in the second case, in B multiplied by A, you can see here that there's only one number in the first row um, in B, but then there are three numbers in the first column of A, so the dot product cannot even happen. So in this case, B multiplied by A would not be a valid action. Um, so 
this is something really important to remember. Uh, but once you can kind of have that down, you are all good to go.